Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this Centrio center channel speaker. Here's the label over here. I had no idea this was a four ohm speaker until I uh, found this label on the floor just now. A little backstory behind this. I was, uh, when I moved into my apartment, I started a home theater setup. I didn't have a center channel, so I hit the pawn shop and I found this for $10. <laughs> So these were sold by Radio Shack and The Source, kind of like their most fancy surround sound system. I have seen these woofers around. They do look like the typical polypropylene China woofer, but I have never seen this dome tweeter before. It's sort of kind of, I don't know, it has a weird texture to it and it's uh, unpokeable. Always will poke back. And uh, of course we got in this rack over here, the CS800 power amp. That thing is still chugging along just fine. You can listen to it audio file or blow speakers with it. It uh, really doesn't matter. The only downside, as I tell everybody that wants one, they're 80 pounds and only 800 watts at the peak. For the music today, I'll be going with my friend Josh or Greenville Guitar on YouTube. This one's actually on his secondary page, but the song's called Fifth Gear and I will put it in the description. My stereo. So because it's the first full box I've done in a while, I'm just going to pull out one of the woofers. Whoa, okay. That always gets me, you know, everyone says, oh look how big the magnet is, but that's actually the uh, magnetic protection for when you're putting it next to a TV. That's not such a big deal anymore because of, you know, LCDs, that doesn't even matter. Uh, I just put it up to my screen there, I you. But this has the magnet protector, it would help that a lot. CRTs would uh, turn purple and shit. So there is actually a model number on here. WF0240. You might be able to find the Chinese part. Something I'd like to make note of is the screws used in this. You won't see these torque screws really used on anything that great very common on Chinese and uh, white van scam products. Wind her up a bit. So I actually ran that through the entire song with the bass boosted on the mixer and the CS800 all the way up. This thing took it. It's very warm right now. Just gonna try to add a little distortion into the mix now. Get some DC current going. <laughs> Solid. Holy fuck. Whoa, there's something burning inside the box. It's probably the crossover. 
but both of these woofers have totally jammed right up. <laughs> that tweeter is holding in there really good. Either that or the crossover network's doing very well. I wish I had the camera on while I was taking this tweeter out because I honestly said, no way. <laughs> Look at this thing. So the tweeter is fine. It's absolutely tiny. I did a little bit of a video cut. Well, I'm going to do one, but uh, yeah, that like shrieked for the entire song and that uh, I, there's still smoke coming out of here. The crossover is definitely melting in there. So I'm gonna plug this right into the amp and see what happens, but I wanna see if you can, I wanna check out that crossover. I was gonna put this in the wood stove anyway, so you know. Check out that crossover. It's not on the back of the terminals like usual. What a bad spot to hit it. <laughs> I just don't want to wreck the crossover. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty neat how they put that together. Make the bend. Bunch of little cuts. Yeah, I broke the crossover. This just totally done. So one part. You can see this guy here was starting to pop and melt. If I would have left it go, it would have exploded this thing. These sound like a shotgun going off. They haven't had one happen in a while now, but holy crap. Kind of glad it didn't happen right in my face on my computer desk. So we got the tweeter hooked up. Just put a little X on there to see if it moves at all. Nice little trick I learned the other day. Wow, that was a survivor. Insane. 